Welcome back to JB Reviews. Today, we're gonna to do a video on my transmission. I have the Eisen High Output Cummins. And I got it reflashed probably about six months ago. And I never really did a video for you guys. I did it on purpose just to see if it would kind of stay the same with the updates that they did. And so I'll go through four things that I noticed before the flash that were fixed. And I also want to go over something that I think the manufacturers should do for us especially for these heavy duty trucks. I mean, obviously these trucks are not gonna get better fuel economy. And I think that some of the shift points that they set are geared towards that. And I think that they should change that or allow us to change that on the fly. Lastly, I am gonna be doing a tow video with my truck soon. So we're gonna go up the 6% grade today, unload it so you guys can see the fuel economy, you can see the acceleration. We're gonna go through all that today, guys. So stay tuned, let's get into it. All right guys, so let's get down the brass tacks. Just so you know, I've been watching Better Call Saul, so I'm probably gonna say, let's get down to brass tacks a lot. Whenever you buy a new car, the ECM, the transmission, is always learning your driving habits. I feel as though the manufacturer could allow us HD truck owners to start having a system inside the truck that will allow us to set up the transmission. Now, I guess what I'm trying to say is this. I drive my truck in the city not all the time, but sometimes I'm in the city or better yet, I'm in a lot of stop and go traffic since I live in Maryland. And it would be nice if that the transmission would hold the shifts. Let me show you what I'm talking about. In the past, one of the issues I had with the Eisen and the 68 RV was the transmission seemed to be busy. Like they wanted to shift up every time you were traveling just five miles an hour quicker. And sometimes when you're in stop and go traffic, sometimes when you're just moving along like this, sometimes it would be nice if the transmission just kind of held the gear. Like, so if, assume I was in third gear right now in stop and go traffic, as opposed to it shifting up the fourth and fifth gear at 35, 40 miles an hour, it'd be nice if it would hold that gear. So it would be nice if we could change it in the system here to not want to shift up all the time. So I think that's probably one thing I would love to see changed, you know, in the future when they do go to redesign this truck, that they allow us to be able to use the, the gear limit and kind of learn how we like the truck to shift. So if there is something in the system, you can hit city, and while you're driving in the city, it'll learn how you drive in the city. And then you can change it to the highway too. And then obviously you would have one for towing. I mean, why not? And you can maybe have it to where if you're going up grade, it could hold it in the fifth gear as opposed to shifting up in the sixth gear if you prefer to have those higher RPMs. So that's just something I would like to see in the future. I know that transmissions and ECMs do learn how you drive. So I would like for them to take it a step further and say, hey, how about we allow the, the buyer to choose how they want their transmission shift because I'm not gonna get much better fuel economy than I am. I don't really care about that. I do the numbers for you guys, but at the end of the day, you're driving an 8,000 pound truck. It's gonna get pretty bad fuel economy. And with that being said, I wouldn't mind my transmission shifting less. Obviously that's gonna help with the temperature. So I like the idea of it shifting less and staying in the same gear because if the traffic does come to a stop, if you're in stop and go traffic, or if you're just driving in the city and the light turns red, you're not all the way in fifth gear having to slow down. It may not be a big deal, but for me, I feel like it would be nice if they gave us that option. All right, so let's get down to business with the Eisen transmission. I got it reflashed. I don't remember what the reflash was and what the bulletin was. I'll put it, you know what, here's what I'll do. I'll show you guys the bulletin real quickly, real quickly. This is a service bulletin that was put out back in 2019. Uh, transmission control module reflash and pretty much what it was supposed to remedy was the harsh shifting from two to one hesitations and upshifts and downshifts and then the shutter inner clunk when shifting into gear I noticed that there was clunking sometimes when even when you're downshifting and I do remember putting it into gear it would clunk the software enhancements were two to one coast downshift improvements and then pretty much just shifting all the way up to six gear and I'll put this in the description for you guys if you like to look at this. But there's some information here if you'd like to take your time and look through it. So as you guys just saw with that bulletin, you had a hesitation from two to one. And sometimes when you would accelerate, it would like get up to about 3,000 RPMs. And 
then it acted like it didn't want to shift and then it would shift really late like it was really bad and the harshness on the downshifts unloaded were pretty bad too sometimes when i would come up to like a stop sign or a red light and i'd hit the brakes when it would go from two to one it would almost like throw you forward in your seat and that that's pretty much gone now i haven't had that issue the biggest issue i had though was just the clunkiness like the transmission was very clunky and i would say that was probably by far the most uncomfortable experience that i had like i almost thought the transmission would fall off the truck sometimes maybe not that bad it wasn't that bad but it, it was just really loud you could hear it my wife would even say what was that so for her to say something obviously it was like pretty apparent that it made some noises but this bulletin fixed all those issues now when i was in tow haul mode when i first started towing with the truck it would shift really hard sometimes going into gears but the worst thing with towing was the downshifts like when you were in tow haul mode and you had your trailer hooked up and when you went to hit the brakes and the truck started downshifting i mean it would bounce off the rev limiter sometimes and just keep in mind the downshifts in the rams and tall mode is already pretty aggressive like you can hear it you can feel it like it still kind of pushes you forward a little bit when it starts to downshift and so it is good to report that all those issues that i had with the transmission are completely gone and i mean just like right now like i'll get up here let me lock it into third gear i'm in third gear right now brakes a little bit still in third gear see that's nothing it holds the gears better too second gear still in second first gear so yeah the gears are just they're amazing like they shift a lot better now you do still feel them I'm not gonna lie to you you feel the gears when they shift but um I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick wide open throttle and then we'll kind of talk back through some things. Here we go. Oh, I gotta stop. So 65 is like, it's nothing for this truck to shift. I'm gonna get over now. I have to be sure to do these uh, runs earlier in the morning time. It's a little late on this Saturday, but um, I'm gonna go down to 50 miles an hour, and I'm gonna have to probably get going sooner than later, unfortunately. Hopefully I can, here, let me just speed up a little bit. All right, right on, off the bridge I'll start. I'm gonna go down to 50, here we go. Full wide open throttle. Not in tow haul mode, by the way, too. So as you guys can see, it just takes absolutely nothing for this big beast to get up to speed. All right, so I'm back up with traffic. And as you guys can see, I'm in Mexico. They have grades out here, guys. I can't believe it. but. There's nothing to it with this truck when it comes down to accelerating, unloading. I mean, this truck will go, I mean, I'm gonna accelerate. I'm still going up a grade here. Look at this. I mean, it takes no problem whatsoever to get it up to speed. All right, so here is a gauge summary. So your coolant's at 177, trans is at 167, and oil temps at 181. So that's not bad guys, really good temperatures there. And like I said, because it's 50 degrees outside, you know, 181 is kind of low for the oil and the coolant is kind of low also at 176. But as far as fuel economy goes, we're running in at 20.7. And that's at 12.9 miles. So I'm actually happy with that figure. And last thing I'll show you guys, now that I tow more often with this truck, my diesel particular filter stays like this now. As I mentioned in my 2018, I drove that truck pretty similar to this one, but I didn't tow with it as much and it stayed pretty empty regardless. But with this new Cummins, I don't know if 
they change anything in the DPF or any of the, any of the systems, but if you're not towing a trailer, it seems that it tends to stay above halfway right here, just about right there, which is at about, about two quarters of the way full. And that's what mine was when I wasn't towing my trailer when we moved into it. So it definitely does help having a trailer hook up to the truck to keep that diesel particulate filter clean. So if anyone was kind of concerned by some of my previous videos about the Eisen, the Eisen is a lot better. So I want you to kind of take away from this video that it's not gonna perform like the Ford and the Chevys. The Ford and the Chevy transmissions at 10 speed is like a hybrid. It gives you the best of both worlds and it does a really good job of it, seriously. It really does. I, I can't say anything negative about those transmissions. I mean, other than that they're not proven yet. They've only been out for just a year or so, two years for GM, really for both of them, I should say. And I can confirm that with towing with one, I did tow with one, they're pretty good hybrids. And I'll go more in depth when I show you guys the video of me towing with a Ford truck. But like I said, the transmission performs a lot better than it did. And overall, I mean, this is a comfortable truck. I mean, it, it's a 3500, it's stiff, but I like this truck for what I use it for. I tow two trailers. I mean, I'm not towing my fifth wheel right now, but when I do tow my fifth wheel, this truck has no problem, you know, holding the gears and, and getting that thing up to speed, especially when you need to pass someone. And, you know, ultimately, I can't wait to show you guys a video of me towing with this truck, because I've shown you so many different scenarios and I think that this truck will out tow the four trucks that I did. I only did one video up the same grade. So you guys have seen, I would like to hear your feedback on that. So like I said, stay tuned. Hopefully I'll post that video soon of my truck towing. And then I'm, I'm gonna show you guys a video of a four truck that I got a chance to, uh, to tow with and actually drive it unloaded also. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are. We're back at my normal spot. I got 22.2, actually just went up a little bit more. 22.2, 22.1 now, 18 and a half miles driven. And this is pretty accurate when you're just driving, but if you're stopping and going, it's always off by like maybe like three or four, typically with the stop and go traffic and idling. But overall guys, Really good numbers here. And like I said, we'll use this as a basis point for the tow video. Now, I wanna address something I said. I normally used to keep my truck at about a half a tank or a quarter of a tank because I didn't want old diesel sitting in my truck because last year I only drove this truck like 3,000 miles. It was sitting a lot. And so I would remote start it from the house and let it run down for about 10 minutes. I'll high idle it obviously, just so it could, you know, try to clean up that diesel particular filter too. But now that I've been driving this truck. Um, I'll probably go about maybe two, three weeks before I have to get diesel in it. But I always keep it full. I let it get to about, about a half a tank and I fill it back up. And one of my friends, Jeremy, hopefully I'll have him on a channel soon. He had mentioned that, you know, when it's cold outside, condensation could build up inside the tank. So he said, always keep your tank full. So keep that in mind and be sure you do that also. But I hope that was helpful, guys. Be sure to give me a thumbs up if you like the video and like i said stay tuned we'll be doing some tow videos with this bad boy man ain't she a beauty i'm just biased i guess because it's my truck but yeah i cannot wait to show you guys the towing numbers and show you how much it's going to squat all that good stuff so be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys soon